A windy Randall Oaks golf course, the site for the Burlington Central Girls sectional, Wabonzi's Bing Sing Somali coming off a ridiculous 64 at regionals. On the par 3 second hole, she hasn't skipped a beat. She's going to state after shooting 81. Teammate Courtney Williams on the front of that same green. She's got the wedge out too. Williams also going to Decatur, 85. Matia Valley freshman Nicole Mangle in West Dundee with the rest of the Mustangs. On the par 3 17th hole, she's plopping one close. Then with the putter, she's smooth as silk. That's a deuce. She missed qualifying by a stroke. Her senior teammate Anna Peterson on 18, she ended up short of the green with her approach. That's not an issue. Her par putt goes down just as easy as Mangles. Peterson finished 25th overall. Wheaton South making its presence felt. Number one Renee Solberg finishing up her front nine with this flop. She shot a 76. Teammate Kelly Anderson in the top five too. She saves par with this clutch putt on 15. Tigers going as a team. Crystal Lake Central's Bailey Bossler in the birdie club. Her 83 helped lead the Tigers to their first ever sectional title. Number four was a place for shot makers. We start with Huntley's Jillian Young. She's flying low from under the tree, but this one has a happy ending. She puts one close, she would birdie. Same group, Nikwa's Jessica Ewan is a one-upper. From 70 yards, the freshman taking a ride on the American Eagle, and she can hardly believe it. But wait, there's more. Less than 30 seconds later, Glenbard West, Ellen Nyber. Yeah, I can do that too. You surely won't see that every day. A couple eagles. That group not done. Nyber, after punching out of the fairway bunker on 10, gets up and down. She's moving on with an 81. Same hole, you and short of the green as well. She par. She's the clubhouse leader with a 75. But six groups back, Rockford Boylan's Melissa Van Sistine making moves. She finishes the front nine with a par. Now to the back in the par 5 15th, coming into the green. Never a doubt that this one's going to be close. She birdie here. She also finishes with a 75. We're going to a playoff between the two to see who is the individual sectional champion. We go to number one for the playoff, Van Sistine's third shot, a greenside chip. She's about 10 feet short. Ewan in the rough green side, somebody's closer, she ends up within six feet. After Van Sistine missed her par putt, Ewan needs to knock this one down after taking second in two playoffs earlier this season. The freshman, your sectional champion. This is the third time, I mean, I'm, I just wanted to make first or something like that. I just wanted to like actually win a playoff, like I never won a playoff before. And, Third time is to try, as what my teammates were saying, and I was telling myself, just do, just try my best, and, and I did it. I mean, coming into this, I wasn't expecting what to expect. I was just trying to play my game as usual and try to shoot full rounds and hopefully win first or second, take second. So that was amazing. I mean, I was just wow. I wasn't expecting it would go, and I was thinking maybe that if I put this in close enough, I would make birdie. But then I hit a 70 yard shot and then it was like right next to the pin, or in the pin. I was like, wow, that's amazing. I mean, I never did that before. I mean, I had eagles, but not a 70 yard shot against the wind. So it was amazing. Yeah, that was pretty funny also, but uh, it was amazing. I mean, first time I ever saw that before, so. Our seniors last year were great about that as well. So I really tried to step up this year and you know, teach the younger players and also learn from them. Nicole, our number one, taught me a lot. We had a great time this season and all of our younger freshmen and sophomores were so much fun to play with and I hope I taught them something. I mean, whether it be about golf or just about life, um, you know, I think it's such a great opportunity that you have as an upperclassman because the other players look up to you. It was really fun, I gotta say, just because I think a lot of us felt that it was gonna be a little bit of a struggle with a younger team However, once everyone just started bringing in these lower scores and we started winning, bringing home some trophies from tournaments, I think everyone just found the fun in it and just played from the heart, not to sound cheesy, but you know, we all just really had a great time playing with each other. Golf is so individual, but we really valued the team.